Hi, I'm your host, Marsha Florence for Just Ask. Today our show is Light and Easy Cooking. Hurry back and join us. I'm your host, Marsha Florence, for Just Ask. Today, our show is Light and Easy Cooking. And our host for today is Jay Waco from Cooking for Candlelight. Hi, Jay. Hi, Marsha. How are you? Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you, Jay. Now, Jay, this is something different and unique for Just Ask. We've never done a cooking show before. We want to implement this particular type of uh, program in, in our services so that our elderly and our disabled members can find out ways to cook. It'll be simplified for them or, better yet, healthy. So tell me that's what you're going to do. That's a great idea, actually. I know when you told me about it, I thought, uh, what a great idea, because that's a, a segment of the population who, in many cases, I think, probably doesn't eat as well as they should because of the, the fear about how much effort is involved in cooking. It doesn't have to be so hard. Uh, you know, let's not give up the, the hope of cooking at home and eat fast food all the time. It's not good for you. You've got to eat some good, healthy, balanced meals at mm -hmm. home, and they're not that hard to put together. Okay. So uh, I took the challenge. I eagerly uh, thank you for bringing me back out of retirement to throw a great looking meal together that hopefully people will find isn't too difficult to make. All right. So what are we going to start with really is pasta. All right, pasta is a very uh, simple food to make. Who mm -hmm. can't boil water? Pasta is simply added to boiling water, right? Nobody, Cooks uh, itself. nobody would mistake that. While we, while we mention that, let's get the heat going on the water, get it stoked up and just start the pasta because I hope that our plan is that this meal will actually be finished in 30 minutes or less. Okay. So let's get a pound of semolina, nice uh, twisted pasta, which will be a nice attractive type of pasta for this meal that we're going to do okay, uh, so tonight. You should, so you just put that in the water? Yeah, just boil some water. Now, a lot okay. of people add salt to the water. Uh, the reason people add salt to the water isn't necessarily for the flavoring, but really it adds a chemical reaction to the water that helps it boil faster. Okay. So if you're in a hurry, add a dash of salt. Don't worry too much about it. A lot of people add some oil to the water as well. That helps the pasta not clump together mm -hmm. in chunks. You ever pulled out some pasta from right. a pot and they're all clumped together? If you okay. put a little oil in there. A little oil keeps it lubricated. Oil. Exactly. Okay. And you stir it around. And we'll let that start boiling. And that kind of gives it a little bit of a, a coating. So it doesn't okay. all stick together. And hopefully it won't burn on the bottom of the pot. Okay. Now a good pound of pasta like that, you probably need about two or three quarts of water at a minimum to get going so that it doesn't all absorb and you end up with a solid brick of pasta and no water that all would right. ruin your meal. So of course get it going, get the water going, give it a nice good stir so all the pasta is coated with the oil and the water and it's going to have a nice little uh, cook. In this case we're talking about 11 minutes, 11-12 minutes okay. once it gets back to boiling and we don't want to overcook it. All right. Overcooking the pasta leaves it kind of limp, kind of mushy. Right. If you cook it a little bit under Chances are the heat in the pasta itself will cook it just a little bit more to make it al dente, okay. which is what the Italians call to the tooth, just al right. Dente. Al dente. Al dente. Okay. <laughs> I got that. Okay. <laughs> okay. But the big question is, what are we going to do with the pasta? Uh, there's so many different ways to serve it. Break out of the mold of the simple tomato sauce and, and meat. Try something healthy. Try a white sauce, maybe with seafood. Okay. If you're concerned about your heart and your cholesterol levels, you can use fish. Uh, salmon works wonderfully. And how do you put salmon together with pasta? You can right. poach it. I've actually made di dishes, Marcia, with one pot, mm -hmm. a particular pot that has a, a steaming basket in it. I'll put the pasta in the water underneath. I'll use the steaming basket on top and I'll put a piece of fish up there with some broccoli around it, okay. allow that to steam. And when I'm done, I pour the water out with the pasta, drain it. I've got the fish and the broccoli all cooked. I'll cut it up or mix it up and I'll put it in with the pasta. Wow. And it, it turns out great. Today we're going to make it with shrimp. Okay. Shrimp is easy to make. Uh, you know, I'm going to tell you right here today that what we've got for ingredients, I've made it the easiest possible. So there's no excuse to make a dish like that. that there's no excuse not to make a dish l like this, okay. uh, presuming that it's too difficult. So this is really a simple dish. Yeah, you know how simple it is? Look, I didn't even have to go and chop up anything. These mushrooms are already sliced. Okay. I bought them just like that. You don't have to. Now but is that easier to do? 
I'll just turn our oh. pasta down okay. here a little bit. Uh, is it easier to do? Is it easier to buy vegetables already sliced and diced than it is to just stand around? Heck and, yeah. Okay, because it cuts off some of the time oh, you're, yeah. you're wasting. Okay. You know, sometimes you'll find you have to shop carefully because when they're already sliced, in many cases, especially like mushrooms, it allows some oxidation to occur a little quicker well, on the cut marks. So what I mean by that is you t if you take a mushroom and you look at the very edges, uh, mushrooms that have been out on the shelf for mm -hmm. a few days, maybe mm -hmm. toward the end of their shelf life, are tending to get a little brown on the edges. So they're not as fresh. These are very fresh. They're all white on the edges. Okay. There's no darkness on them. Same thing with these cut vegetables here. Beautiful, colorful uh, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, and onions. Okay. I could have sat at home or stood at home more likely and, and okay. chopped these up myself. But, you know, I've got them right there in the, in the produce uh, section, and I can do that. But, you know, it depends on what kind of a meal you're making and how you want it to look. I might, I might actually change the, the, the texture of a meal by chopping these up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. We've also got sauces. Now, how are we going to finish off this, this dish with what kind of a sauce? I've given you a couple selections that I'll let you make the call on, but I'll describe what we've got here. Okay. Pesto, Pesto. a very traditional Italian sauce that really is, uh, uh, it's delicious. It's very, it has a very robust flavor. Pesto is made primarily from basil, olive oil, garlic. You make that yourself? Uh, no, I bought okay. this. I actually okay. prepared it. It was in the refrigerated section in, okay. in the dairy area but you can make this in a blender. Oh, it's like that, it's easy. Pesto. Take a bunch of fresh basil leaves, mm -hmm. a couple of heads of garlic, um, some olive oil, mm -hmm. some little bit of salt, and um, pine nuts. That's another ingredient in traditional pesto, but you can make variations of it using, gar um, the, the, instead of basil, you can substitute parsley. Okay, now can, can you prepare a meal with all of these at once, or well, you would could. you recommend just well, one? I would one say, or two. you know, pesto's got a lot of garlic in it, and I've got some chopped, or rather minced garlic here, okay. which again, I didn't sit here and chop approximately six heads of, or, or cloves of garlic or, or more, maybe that's six to ten, mm -hmm. I'd say. Uh, I bought this in a jar. It's already minced. Okay. Okay, I took a spoon, I spooned out a bunch, and there it is. I've got shredded Parmesan oh, cheese. Okay. Okay, I didn't get the kind that's in a shaker that mm -hmm. comes out powdery. That'll finish our pasta just right, but that's already prepared for me. And I've got some dried herbs. This is uh, Herbs de Provence, which is really a conglomeration of dried herbs, uh, rosemary, sage, marjoram, thyme oregano, um, wonderful conglomeration of herbs that you can flavor things with. What I would do, oh, and I brought some Cajun seasoning along. Mm. What kind of Cajun seasoning? Whatever you like. If okay. you like Cajun seasoning, go find one that you like the best. Keep it on your shelf for a special occasion like this. And, you know, if it's something you like is good enough to put on toast and eat it in the morning, then okay. use it. So you can actually mix the Cajun seasoning with one or two of these or? Sure. Well, okay. you know. Because I'm thinking in terms of that all this is pretty spicy here, you mm -hmm. know, and that a person who's, you know, somewhat well, uh, concerned about uh, the cholesterol or if they have. Spicy doesn't mean anything yeah. for cholesterol. Olive oil is one of the best oils you can have. Cholesterol is not really a problem with olive oil. In fact, it's good for you. Okay. Uh, you wouldn't want to drink gallons of it, but I'm telling you, if you're going to use oil, olive oil is the way to go. Plus, it adds a wonderful flavor. Right. Um, use a combination here. I would either go with the pesto and the cheese um, or maybe the garlic, the herbs, the Cajun and the cheese. That was kind of what I was leaning towards, but I threw the, the pesto in as a late, as a late option. Well, Jay, I'm just going to close my eyes and whatever, All right. <laughs> whatever well, you come up with. Get me going on some chopping here because yeah. I'm going to mince up okay. this just a little bit more. Here, and I'll, I'll get it. We'll switch sides? Yep, I'll get okay. right behind you. Well, not to be, not to really demonstrate a whole lot because we're, we're not really trying to show off or anything here, but we've got you know, some mushrooms, and I'm just going to pile these up here and, and just chop them up a little bit more than what they are already. Okay. They're kind of big. And with these twisted types of pasta, one of, the, one of the concerns you should have in trying to prepare a meal is that it looks good. It looks appealing Now, I'm to. thinking, you know, you're re-chopping the mushrooms, but mm -hmm. um, a person that's, you know, concerned about cooking fast and easy, mm -hmm. they don't necessarily have to chop up the stuff. No. They can actually buy it already. Well, semi these are semi sliced. Chopped. Yeah, you can okay. get them chopped. I don't know if you can get chopped mushrooms, but look at how easy it is. You get a nice knife. Don't get a tiny little knife that's dangerous. Get a nice, thick chopping knife. Okay. Take it, put your hand on the top, put the tip down, and push the rest down in an order like that. Kind of vary the angle, okay. and voila. So don't get fancy with cutting, just cut. No, just cut. Okay. But be careful, keep your fingers okay. out of okay. the way. Okay. okay. I'm no uh, trained, formally, Marsha, I didn't learn cooking at Johnson & Wales or any cooking uh, college. I, I learned That's it good. really out of necessity. When I was young, my, my mother passed away when I was young, and uh, my sisters, God bless them, they made wonderful meals for me if you like hamburgers and hot dogs. So I decided I got kind of tired of that and I, 
I desired other types of food, so I picked up a cookbook. It must have been uh, Julia Child's cookbook because okay. I was just to watch her show. And I said, you know, I'm going to make some something good. So all you got to do is read a cookbook. Read a do cookbook. Do what it says, and it comes out great. I'll take okay. some peppers here. And if here. you're making it yourself, you're going to eat it. Okay, okay, okay. Now, Jam, I'm, I'm noticing that the, the steam is coming from under the pot here. Do you stir the pasta at all, or you just no, let you it? No, you do. Go ahead. Oh, take I can stir it? Okay. Spoon right there. Okay, I'm going to take a just peek at it. Just give it a look. Make sure nothing's sticking, sticking to the bottom. And... Gonna move it around here. That's right. So, so should you should you just move it around a couple of times to make sure it's not sticking or anything? You can do that. Okay. Because <clears throat> I know you don't suppose to stir. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. Go ahead and put the cover back on. Okay, I'll just. Okay. And, uh, and if you can turn the heat up again a little bit, which is counterclockwise. Turn the heat up. Okay. Yeah, all the way up. There you go, counterclockwise. Beautiful. Okay. That's, okay. Nice that's little stoves. Okay. Right. Now I'm just gonna chop up a few more things. I've got onions here. I'm, you know. The now, is, it, is, it, is this more just colorful, or is, uh, it, or is it flavor? Colorful, but boy, I'll tell you what, you've got some nutrients in here that you can't deny. Peppers, one of the greatest sources of vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Now, you're not going to squeeze an orange into this dish, but you could put peppers in, and I'll tell you what, ounce for ounce, red peppers have more vitamin C in them than orange juice. Okay. You know that? Well, three no. times as much. All right. Okay. All right. We'll just spread these together. We've got some onions. Now, if mm -hmm. you've got a food processor, you can make it easy on yourself by, by chopping these. Or, you know, the problem with food processors sometimes is that they cut too fine. Exactly, it turns okay. it into mush. Okay. And uh, I thought about that's not that. What we're this for. looks a little like you know you get to taste everything. So if you exactly. once it's cooked, it looks like you get to actually taste an onion, taste a pepper, taste exactly. Oh, okay. You want to try to make the pieces approximately the same size. Now, if you look at a shrimp, and this is a, a basically a U60. There's 60 of these. They're small cocktail shrimp, nothing fancy. They're about the same size as one of these chunks of peppers or oh. onions and that sort of thing. They okay. can all look the, of the same size. <clears throat> now, the good thing about this meal is we can actually, could you pass me the lighter down the, the, lighter. the bottom, okay. the red-handled one? The good thing about this meal is that you can actually cook the sauce while the pasta is cooking. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So we'll get this Most going. women do. Okay. Well. <laughs> I notice women cook in un unison, but men sometimes don't. So, but, you know, people who cook a lot know how. Okay. So I'm just saying... Now, when you say you can cook this at the same time you cook that, yeah. okay, then, because it's going to be done at the same time. At the same time. That's what okay. you're hoping for. Okay. We're going to use an olive oil and butter-based uh, sauce for the pasta. We've got a pound of pasta in there, so we're not going to be skimpy with the olive oil. Okay. We're going to give, oh, I'd say about, I'd say that's about a good cup of olive oil. Okay. So that's and a we'll cup take, of olive oil. Yeah. Okay. We'll take, uh, let's see, how much butter would I say? I'm going to mix it with butter. It kind of gives it a nice... Uh, we'll take like three or four tablespoons, three tablespoons of butter, nice chunk in there. Now, if you don't, if you have an aversion to butter, which a lot of us should, because of our hearts and the cholesterol levels, don't use it. The olive oil works just fine. Because okay, I'm sure people are saying, wow, why is he mixing olive oil and butter together? It tastes good. Okay. <laughs> he said that later. It tastes good. Okay, okay. It tastes good, but would it actually be healthy for you, though? Well, no. You know, the butter is, is not something that we okay. commonly refer to as being So you can leave us. the butter out? You can, Or absolutely. can you leave the olive oil out yeah. and use the butter? You could do that too if you're okay. younger and uh, you know, you're an active person with an extremely uh, genetically, you're genetically blessed to have low cholesterol, okay. go for it. Yeah, I, okay. I'm not a doctor, but that's what I've been told and led to believe. Go ahead. So we've got that olive oil and butter in there. Let's go with, what do you think? The pesto or the garlic and uh, Cajun, I think. What do you think? I would say the Cajun for yeah, sure. Yeah, I think so too. Let's go, let's take some garlic. We'll take about it. We're not going to be cheap on the garlic. I'm going to take a good three teaspoons of garlic in there. Three teaspoons oh, yeah. of garlic. Okay. Smells good. Smells okay. Good. <laughs> hey, everybody loves garlic. And uh, let's see, we could take that and move that over there. Okay. Once that's moving along, we're going to take the, uh, well, let's see here. Well, we'll season it right here. We'll put some of this Cajun seasoning in right now. So you put your seasoning in with your flavor. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Before That's the vegetables about a, and all that. A, maybe a half teaspoon is is all I would use there. Okay. Go ahead and put the veggies right in there. Now mushrooms, funny, you know, they are, are they're funny. They absorb any kind of liquid you cook them in, mm -hmm. which makes them great in in uh, crock pot meals or, or roasting, where they absorb the juices and they come out just delicious. Now in, in sautéing, if you're not careful. Uh, you can end up absorbing all of your cooking fat. Okay. And in this case, 
we have enough in there so that they're not going to have the chance to do that. This is a pretty color. I know Isn't we got a beautiful? nice shot of this. I don't know if you can see that. Be, Boy, it's, it's going to look great when we get that on top of the uh, pasta. Now, will we assume that the pasta is done? Because you well, know. Well, one way to find out. That's to grab it's a like piece it's and steaming try. over here. Yeah. Okay. That's what it should be. Let's take a look here. Okay. Let's do this so together. How do you tell a pasta's done? How grab do that little plate, okay. and we'll take one of each and see what uh, see how it how it appears. Okay. You grab one, and I'll grab one. Blow on it now. All right. Real close. Mm-hmm. Real close. Mm -hmm. That's not far at all from what I think we should do. So what I'd like to do, shut the heat right off. That okay. water is real hot. It's mm -hmm. going to cook for another couple minutes, and so will this. And by the way, there's nothing that keeps us from going all vegetarian with this. We could just leave this as it is and That's forget good. the shrimp. But we're going to put the shrimp in. Okay. We'll put the shrimp in. We'll add some beautiful herbs. Nice colors. Real yeah, nice. absolutely. Um, don't overload the pot. This frying pan's probably a little small for the amount of food that's in there right mm -hmm. now. Now, is all that going to come out golden brown or something? Or yeah. nice and colorful? These shrimp are already cooked. I went easy. Marcia, these are already cooked cocktail oh. shrimp. I didn't even have to cook them. I just thawed them out. I rinsed them, drained them, and here they are. They're going to be nice and absolutely tender and delicious in here. Okay. We'll throw just a little bit of these herbs in here. Take a pinch mm -hmm. that's between your first three fingers, or two fingers and your thumb. One pinch. Drizzle that right in there. That looks Maybe good. Maybe one more pinch. Okay. Okay. Let this cook up. We'll heat it up. The peppers, onions. Oh, it's going to be mm. great. Why don't we take a break while we pour the water out of the pasta. Okay. We'll throw it in the colander, drain it out. Right. We'll come back and um, we'll finish this off. You heard the man. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. I'm your host, Marsha Florence, for Just As. If you're just now joining us in the second half of our new segment of Light and Easy Cooking, and we have our guest with us, a chef for today, rather, uh, <laughs> Jay Waco, <laughs> who is actually from Cooking for Candlelight. Now, Jay, it smells too good in here. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, mm. yeah. But now We're not done yet. We've a got a couple hungry. more touches just to. But I want to say yeah. something. As good as this looks, yeah. I know that it didn't take, it was under 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. Okay, but basically that's because everything was like pretty much standard. The, the uh, onions and the peppers mm -hmm. and everything were chopped. Mm -hmm. So a person can actually leave out the butter if they choose to. Yep, that's they that's butter, it's not margarine, right? Okay, that's butter. And they yeah, still would butter get the butter better than margarine. <laughs> okay, so they still get the same flavoring, no, basically? Uh, with with or without butter in it? Right. No, it's slightly different. The butter gives it a bit more of a, I guess, a velvety flavor. Okay. But um, it's, it's not essential. No, the olive oil is certainly adequate. Okay, okay. And secondary, I want to know now, if a person is not a pasta eater, yeah. can you substitute yeah. with rice? Certainly, absolutely yeah. you can use a rice. Now, okay. um, some rices might be better off flavor-wise than others. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people who are very health conscious like to eat whole grain rice. Okay. It's possible you could use that with this, but my, my personal preference would not be a whole grain rice just because okay. of it's a so kind it'd of a be a thick, uh, uh, maybe a, you could use a pilaf. Okay, pilaf sounds really Excellent. good. Excellent, yeah. Okay. I'm a rice person. I just asked for yeah. rice eaters. Okay, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I wanted to say was that we want to start something different for Just As Foundation so that we decide to bring on an additional attraction to our show, which will be a cooking segment. So mm. from time to time, you will see us with a different cook from each and every um, walk of life, which will give us something different, you know, any type of cuisine or basic, simple uh, meals, even desserts. So, so, but we want to especially thank Jay for uh, helping us out on this uh, very first segment because he cooks very well, and we're going to enjoy this meal today. Okay, okay. So, Jay, My tell pleasure. us, you know, about the the, the roundup here. Well, I think the, the real way, and this is this was the the main uh, 
concept behind cooking for candlelight was that a, a meal, to enjoy a meal to its fullest, you should really enjoy how it looks as well as how it tastes. And it doesn't hurt to enjoy the cooking experience as well. And, and what your goal was also my goal, and that's to make it an enjoyable experience that isn't a burden. Cooking shouldn't be a burden. It should be a, a, as good an experience as eating it. All right as eating the food. So hopefully in 20 minutes, this is not too much effort to ask for a really nice meal that's going to look dynamite on a plate. You'll be able to serve it to yourself or to a guest of yours who, or family member, and they're all going to really appreciate how good it looks. And you can do this in, 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 a, in a, a, is this considered a skillet? So you can do this Absolutely. in a skillet or frying pan or wang, wok? Oh, uh, yeah, you could use wok. a wok, actually. Uh -huh. Sure, yeah, why not? A wok is different. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, now I notice you just mm -hmm. put a little... I put a little cooking sherry, sherry in, there. in yeah, there. That's a nice little ending to it. Now, okay. I'd, I would probably cook that for just a little bit more just because it will uh, just remove the alcohol Now, the, the sherry just gave it that. a new aroma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it did. <laughs> okay. It, talk okay. about... Oh, okay. yeah. it, 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 sherry goes so well with seafood. I know seafood people are saying, what is she in, smelling? In well, oh. Getting a little tipsy here, but that smells oh, nice. No. Now, let me ask you this. Okay, yeah. if, you have, if a person is vegetarian, mm -hmm. they can do this with all the vegetables no, and feel... Don't anything at all. Okay. Feel just as good. Can you do it with other uh, meats? Uh, no reason you couldn't use chicken. Okay. Um, beef might be a little bit different okay. <laughs> with pasta, but chicken would work well. Uh, uh, I, I suppose you could use pork. Um, what else am I? Well, I can I can see the chicken and I can yeah. see the fish. But if you did the fish, the fish would basically would be broiled and then laid on top or something like oh. that. Heck no, yeah, I just boil it right in with the, with the pasta. I do it all the time. If, if oh, it's okay. just you and you don't mind that, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you can actually throw the piece of fish, if it's a firm fish, not like a white flaky fish would break apart. Mm -hmm. But if it, anything like salmon or, salmon or swordfish or halibut, you could actually put in with the pasta and let it boil right with the pasta. Wow. Miraculously, depending on the thickness of the cut, it'll cook about the same time the pasta will. Mm -hmm. So it all comes okay. out together. Dump mm -hmm. it all in the colander, put it back in the pot, put your olive oil if you want, and some okay. garlic, uh, if you're in a pinch. Use garlic powder, salt, okay. pepper, some chili. Yeah, everybody doesn't use the same great. types of seasoning and yeah. stuff and don't get the same effect. Exactly. Okay. But basically, you know, we, we're, we're uh, counting on what's healthy these days. That's so right. We hear a lot of people talk about their health conscious, and uh, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that they enjoy the meals while you're being health conscious. You got that right. Okay. Let's take a look here. We've got the pasta, these nice spiral pasta here. We'll pour it right on our platter. Okay, I know this I keep... Camera people are smelling this going, hmm. <laughs> well, okay. that's the other objective is make sure the meal is good for the crew. Okay, yep. Go ahead and take our, okay. our mixture, which is just beautiful. And we can just take it and start. That looks good. Pour it right over. I know somebody's oh, got a shot my, of that. Oh, my. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. That looks good. Well, it's not even a waste. Very pretty. Oh, look well, at that. Well, you know, women always say food's pretty. Oh, okay. it is. It's a pleasure to look at as well as to eat. We can finish it with Parmesan cheese. Wow. This will kind of melt right in there and don't use the shaker kind. Just go out and get some shredded Parmesan. It's much, much better. Okay. Fantastic. You can finish it with a little ground pepper. I prefer the ground pepper because it has a, a, a more of a distinct flavor. Okay. Then. Now does every woman have a man that can cook at home? No, well, but sure. even if you don't, you can cook this yourself. Okay, okay. Finish okay. it and serve it with a beautiful bottle of white wine like you've chosen here, the Chardonnay. Excellent okay. uh, choice for this meal, I think, will be fine. I'm not a wine expert, but I'm, I'm sure that'll be yes, a phenomenal yes. touch. And like you say, maybe a light dessert, maybe mm -hmm. a chiffon or a sorbet oh, yeah. for dessert. Oh, yeah. And you're in business. Okay. What do you think? I, I think that's fine. I think Any I want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was that part of the deal? I think I'm going to wrap up here with oh. a little, little well, taste we here. Um, enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. Let's just take a Well, a ladies and gentlemen, bit. what I want to say is that yeah. if you know someone that's interested in coming on our show and sharing a, a recipe or something like that, give us a call at the Just As Hotline. That number is 248-988-0250. 248-988-0250. Or catch the address in the credit roll and definitely drop us a line. Let us know. Um, what kind of meal do you think that people would like to have? This very light and easy. <laughs> and also, we have a, a game that we're playing. Um, we have a beautiful gift basket that was donated to us by Autobahn Gift Baskets of West Bloomfield. And I know somebody can get a shot of that pretty basket over there. I'm going to give that basket away by someone naming the food show. So oh. currently, the name of the food show is Light and Easy. If we're happy with Light and Easy, we can take a vote on it. 
If not, <laughs> send in your postcards with a new name for the food segment of our show and win that basket. So, Jay, let's... It's um, not often you come across such a democratic program as yours. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> so, okay, well, I'm going to try some of this nice and light and easy food here. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. I must admit I'm hard to please, but this <laughs> is not hard. Okay. You got me. Well, I'll tell you what. I want to eat in front of everybody and not share. So <laughs> we're going to end this segment here with our guest, Jay Waco, from C Cooking, by Cooking for Candlelight. Please, Jay, come back and join us again. Thank you very much. Thank it was you. a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, this show is designed for you, the people. We do uh, all kinds of segments, so you give us a call or jot down the address and write us and send us a postcard. You know who I am. I'm your host, Marsha Florence for Just Ask, and what do I always say? If you know someone with a disability, don't be afraid to ask. Just Ask, I'm your host, and I'm about to eat dinner. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> play a little golf. Why? Because it's Saturday, and that's the day that Dad plays golf. Why? Because I really like golf. But why? <laughs> well, good question. Because most of the time, I just spend the day chasing a little white ball around the course. Why? Well, usually it's because I hit the ball into the rough or out of bounds. Why? I don't know. Sometimes I wonder why I even took up this game. Maybe I'll cut back a little. Why? Well, for starters, maybe I could spend a few more Saturdays doing something with you. Hey, Dad? Huh? When? Family. Isn't it about time? <laughs> <laughs> From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I hang out with a pretty trashy circle, the circle that helps this circle by recycling trash. We sort glass, plastic, separate cans, stack newspapers, and magazines. Now, thanks to us, there are lots of products made from things we've already recycled. This cereal